started skateboarding, I think a little bit last year, and it's super nice coming down to the gym because you have this nice decline, it's a great angle, pick up a little bit of speed, not too much. But then after practice, after lift, when I'm tired, I have to like pedal or whatever skateboarders call that, uphill, which was not fun. Sidewalks definitely weren't built for electric scooters, so they're not very wide. So that presents a challenge, but in terms of other scooter riders, it's kind of like probably both athletes. We're both part of the scooter gang, and so we kind of just give each other the look and like a little bit of a kind of like a Jeep wave. So I think like you just see someone else on a skateboard and like you just kind of know what's up. Like no one needs to say or do anything necessarily, but it's like you just have that mutual respect that you kind of like both know what's good. If practice ends and I want to get shots up after, I don't have to hustle out and make sure I get to the dining hall in time because I know with my scooter I can get to any dining hall in like two minutes while other people might have to hustle a little bit to shower quick and then get to dinner. There's definitely a little animosity. I think skateboarders kind of had the campus first. So then now it's like the scooter gang has come in. It's sort of like, hmm, we were here first. But I think that now we're kind of like growing. You know, we realize that it's a growing market and we realize that there are going to be a lot of people trying to hop on this bandwagon, like Carly, et cetera. But chain gang, you got to just wonder, like they're kind of living in the past. Like they really need to step it up. You know, Sid, she's an old soul at heart. So you got to respect her use of the kind of the classic technology, you know, but I think that people kind of need to start moving along and if they're going to be on a mechanical game, kind of move to the side so we can get past easily. Thank you.